check out this epic small shop haul. I've got ears, I've got candles, I've got t-shirts. I am so excited. Hi guys, thanks for popping by today. I am so, so, so excited about today's video. I am so happy I finally get to film this for you. I've been ordering items from several different Disney small shops, both in the UK and in the US, and I've been waiting for all of the parcels to arrive so that I could do a kind of a big hug and a big shout out to all the Disney small shops that I love. So I'm pretty excited to get these open. I've got a variety of different packages to share with you today. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. Please think about hitting that subscribe button every single Wednesday I'll be here waiting to get lost in Disney with you with a little bit of midweek magic to help you get over that hump day usually it's kind of Disney hauls so um, small shop hauls or Primark hauls or Disney store hauls sometimes it's Disney pin mail either way it's a ton of fun so please think about hitting that subscribe button and I'll be here waiting to get lost in Disney with you so as I said I have got a monster of a haul for you today. I am so 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 excited. Definitely my most magical small shop haul that I've ever done. I really don't know where to start. I'm looking at it all and I'm so excited about all of it. I really can't wait to start. I will start with this parcel just because it's on the top. So this is a gorgeous rose gold um, bubble mailer and this is from a company called the um, the Grape Soda Company. So I bought a few items from this company before. So the Grape Soda Company do fantastic fantasy pins. I have a few of their pins. There's one in particular I've got in my mind, which is a Buzz Lightyear one that flashes. It's really, really cool. And they've got um, a Cinderella carriage one that kind of spins around. One way it's a carriage, one way it's a pumpkin. Their pins are gorgeous, but this time I haven't got pins. I've got something else. I've had my eye on this little item for a while. There are now two variations of this and it's basically a little pouch. There's a Peter Pan Neverland one and there's a Small World one. And honestly, I can't remember which one I ordered. I think I purchased the Small World one. I guess we'll find out as I open it up. I just need my scissors. So I must admit, Small World is not one of my favorite rides. And actually last time I went to Disney, I didn't actually ride it. I have heard that the Disneyland one is better. So if I ever get over to California, I will be sure to go on it then. Um, I just find I end up getting that song stuck in my head all day long and I can't shift it. And then I just, it just annoys me for that reason. Um, but what I do love is I love the aesthetic of the ride. I love the um, the design of all of the small world pins. And I kind of wish I loved the ride for that reason, just so I could collect the pins. Because like I say, it's, the, the aesthetic of the ride is gorgeous. And I'm pretty sure that's the reason why I went for the small world pouch. I think it's the small world one. The Peter Pan one is stunning also. So it's come inside a um, wrapped up in purple tissue paper which I love because Grape Soda Company, inspired by um, the Grape Soda of Up. And it is the Small World one. I, I thought it was this one. This is so gorgeous. So this is a leather pouch and it has a print of the Small World ride on the front and it is gorgeous. It's like this dusky kind of pink color. This, I'm really, really happy with this. You can get it embroidered as well on the back if you wanted, but I, I'm quite happy with it as it is. I think it was free to have that done. And I love that the zip has the um, the face of, I think it's the sun um, on the zipper. So really gorgeous. And then inside, oh, this is really good quality. It's got little pouches to put your cards in. Oh, it's got a little card inside as well. So it says, you and me, we're in a club now, Grape Soda Club. This is so stunning. Let me give you a closer look at this. I'm just loving the artwork on this so, so much. I love that there's a hot air balloon on it. I've never been in a hot air balloon. That is one of my 
dreams is to go up in a hot air balloon so I love that that's on there again I'm loving the kind of dusky pinks in this and the greens and the purples absolutely stunning not sure what I'm gonna keep in here yet but I'm sure I'll find something Disney and something magical to go inside so yeah I'm pretty pretty excited about this I'm so happy I picked this up it was out of stock for a little while now it's back in stock in fact I bought this a while ago so that might not be the case anymore but do check out the Peter Pan one as well it's stunning it's more of like a blue colour and it has a um a picture of Big Ben with the little pirate ship in the sky that one is stunning also um yeah I was really torn between the two but I love this one so much and so the next item I'm going to open up is this one and that is because as you may notice I'm missing my ears today so I need a pair of ears to put on and that's exactly what is inside here. This is from a company called Made for Mouse. Now I haven't purchased from these guys before but my friend Karen over at Karen's USA Adventures she always wears ears by these guys and um, I love the fairy godmother ones that she has and watching her and seeing her with those ears made me want to check out these guys because they are a little bit cheaper than um usual kind of etsy ears so that was one of the reasons why i wanted to give them a try and there are loads of different options i think they're quite um open to making customizable ears as well so if you contacted them and say look i'm i'm really interested in finding a pair of ears like this i think that's the kind of thing that they would do for you um don't help me to that though i'm not sure um so they are very lightweight they're a little bit different from the usual kind of puffy ears. I think they're more kind of like a, a cardboard ear. Um, but yeah, this is really, really cool. So they've sent it inside this um, cardboard box. Inside we've got some gorgeous, gorgeous purple tissue paper again. Loving all the purple today. And this is their card. So let me show you this so you can check them out if you need to. So here is their name, Made for Mouse. Of course, I will leave all the information for all of the small shops that I'm opening up today in the description for this video and with links to their websites and things so you can check them out for yourselves. I like that on the back of here, I've got some extra gems in case they fall off my ears ears hopefully that won't happen and then inside so the ears that I bought were villainous ones let me put them on and then I'll give you a second to kind of see if you can figure out what villain these are so we actually have three villains on these ears oh I'm loving the colors of these yeah, I'm pretty happy. These are so lightweight and so comfortable. You can barely even tell you've got them on your head. They are so comfy. I am pretty, pretty happy with how these look. Really happy, yay. So, as you can see, there are three villains on these ears. One, the main guy himself is uh, represented by the bow. So this is obviously Hades from Hercules. And then we have Pain and Panic on either side. I love that one tail is pointing up and one is pointing down. Really love all the sparkles on these ears. These are stunning. I am so happy with these. So my last pair of small shop ears were my Ursula ones, which I love. I haven't worn those in a while, actually. I need to get those on. But um, yeah, I'm loving that I have another pair of villains is Hades isn't one of my favorite villains um but I just love the design of these ears I love the colors of them I love kind of I even love the gray of the bow against the the blue and the pink I think these look great I'm really happy with these I really wish I'd opened these up first so I could have put them on straight away. Why didn't I do that? I love them. Okay, so next item. I'm going to open up, I've got two items left, both of which are some of my favorite um, small shops. So one of them is from the UK and one of them is from the US. The one from the UK is Rock Paper Sisters. These guys do the most amazing um, slogan t-shirts. I love them, I think I have maybe five or six of their t-shirts already and I've ordered three more in this parcel so really excited to get that open and then I've also got my first ever order from the Wishes Candle Company. I've seen people open these candles up and my friend Nina who has a YouTube channel Wrestling with Disney she sent me one of those candles and it has burnt out it's expired so um yeah I've got three more to open up which I ordered myself and so I'm really happy to finally be able to get an order from those 
those guys and I've got three new candles to open up from them so I'm really torn as to which one I want to open up next I think I might open up my t-shirts next um because I do really really love these and I'm pretty excited about the designs that I've ordered I've ordered three t-shirts one of them is villainous one of them is of my main guy and one of them is of my favorite princess so all pretty exciting this open the delivery from these guys as well is so fast this was like one of the first parcels to arrive and then inside here it's got a little bit crumpled up in the post but this is their information again i will leave all this down below but they are they are called rock paper sisters they have an instagram twitter account facebook page and a website so i'll leave all this information down below for you so you can check them out and so inside I have got two purple t-shirts and a blue t-shirt. So I already have a t-shirt in this color. I was wearing it in Monday's video actually. Um, and they are so comfortable. So I'm really happy that all three of these are of the same kind of material. I'm going to pull out one of the purple ones first of all. So this is my villainous one. I'm having a bit of a villainous moment. This is my Ursula t-shirt, my favorite villain. For a while it was Maleficent, but I've, I've, I've decided my favorite is Ursula. And this is really cool. So it is a gorgeous purple t-shirt and on the front it has Ursula's hair and it says Sea Witch. So loving this so much. It's obviously very classic of Ursula. You can tell straight away that that's who this is. And I love that it says Sea Witch. It's really, really cool. And again, the material is so soft and so comfortable. I sleep in several of their t-shirts. They are so comfy. Um, and the size that I've gone for is medium, which tends to be a really great size for me. And yeah, really, really pleased with this one. So excited to see my others now. I really want to go and put them on, but I won't. So I'll go for the next purple ones. This is exactly the same color shirt with just a different design on the front. And this is of my favorite princess. So you may be able to tell from the color who my favorite princess might be. But this t-shirt again has white text on the front and it says lost princess. And then we've got my favorite princesses tiara on top of her princess name there. So really, really love this. I love the idea behind this t-shirt and the fact that we can all join the lost princess club. Um, maybe one day we'll all find out that we're really princesses. <laughs> but yeah, really, really love the design of this one as well. And then the last one is the one I am most excited about. I'm having a bit of a moment with this guy as well. I got some ears um, themed on this guy recently. If you've seen my Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes, then you know who I'm talking about. And it is, of course, Buzz Lightyear. So this is a gorgeous blue t-shirt and I love the design on this. So this is in the shape of Buzz's um, toy box that he comes in and on the front it says, what is actually beyond infinity? So I love this, it's so fun. I am a massive nerd when it comes to stargazing and space and all that kind of stuff. So this quote, um, well, it's not a quote, but this slogan, what actually is beyond infinity makes me smile. And I love that it's Buzz's um, toy box that he comes in. Really, really pleased with this one. I think this is my new favorite t-shirt. I love this. So I really, really love Rock Paper Sisters. Their t-shirts are so, so comfortable and they're really affordable, they're really fun. So again, I, I will leave all of their information down below um, so you can check those guys out, but I, I love them. But I've got to say, this parcel is the one that I have been most excited about and dying to open. I can smell it already. This is my Wishes candle delivery and it is amazing. So even the packaging, I love the Wishes candles um, packaging, the um, labels that they put on the candles and the box itself is covered in the same design. These are gorgeous. It's a little bit heavy. I've got three candles in here to open up. Let's have a look inside. So, 
This is a little card from them. It's got one of their candles, which is actually inside here, the um, unbirthday cake candle. And it just gives you a little bit of information on what to do and not to do with your candle, i.e. don't leave it unattended, that kind of thing. And also do take photos and post them on Instagram. I'll be sure to be doing that. Ooh. Ah, oh, God, this smells so good. Okay, so I've already told you that I got the on birthday candle, so I'll show you that one first. I bought this, um, I bought these back in February and they've just been sat waiting for me to open them because I've been waiting to find the time and waiting for the parcels to arrive. Um, so yeah, I have had this unopened for a little while now already, but the reason I bought this was February the 10th, was my half birthday so six months right in the middle between my birthday and my next birthday is the 10th of February so that's my half birthday and I know um, it's not really a reason to celebrate but it's probably the most special unbirthday that I have so hence my unbirthday candle which I purchased on my half birthday as a little bit of a treat to myself for my most um, most special unbirthday I think um, if that makes any sense at all it probably doesn't it's just an excuse for me to buy this candle but I love this let's get it open and take a whiff because this looks delicious Ooh. oh my gosh so good oh wow I just want to eat it mmm my mouth is starting to water this looks so delicious and it smells so amazing I'm just looking at these sprinkles I'm wondering whether they're made of wax or if they're made of sugar and if they are sugar whether I can eat them <laughs> but I, I'm not even gonna try that's ridiculous I know the, the glitter on this is so stunning I can't stop smelling it it's so gorgeous Oh, it's so so vanilla and it so so, ugh, so vanilla -y, vanilla -y? it's so vanilla -y. ah this candle has got me lost for words it's absolutely gorgeous and I definitely I'm in the mood for some birthday cake right now oh so delicious so the scents of this candle are vanilla it smells like um, birthday cake um, like the batter that you get that I love to eat before it's even cooked which probably you shouldn't do but oh it smells so gorgeous right let me stop sniffing this and give you a look at it So great start. I have been after this candle for so long, ever since I first saw it um, when Disney Kitty first opened it. I have wanted this candle ever since. So I kind of don't want to burn it because I don't want it to run out. So I'm going to have to save this one for um, special occasions when I'm feeling um, extra celebratory. And um, yeah, really happy to finally have this. And I love the, the text on the front. Oh, so cool. So the next candle that I got is this gorgeous gorgeous blue one and this is called wisps will i thought i ordered the wayfinder one but it turns out i didn't i purchased the wisps will which i'm actually really excited about because um i love scotland i love brave i went on a road trip around scotland recently um and i actually bought stuff to make my own candles with like heather and lavender and those kind of smells and like like um like a green moss kind of smell um very outdoorsy very um fresh kind of scents but i've never got round to making those candles i'm pointing down here because they are um in a collection down here i've got like the wax i've got the scents i really need to get around to making them myself but when i saw that um wishes candle did a wisps will candle it made me think of my time in scotland and um that was a really really special time with my boyfriend and my dog and I really loved it. The, the scenery up there is stunning. So I was hoping that um, getting a scent like this would take me back. That I'd be able to close my eyes and pretend I'm up in the Highlands again. Um, if you ever get the chance to go to Scotland, I would 
definitely recommend doing it's called like the north coast 500 it's like a road trip around the north coast of scotland you go right up as far as you can possibly go i think when you're at the highest point you're actually closer to iceland than you are to london um, it's absolutely stunning definitely spend more time on the west coast the west coast is mind-blowing honestly i've been several places and scotland is one of the most beautiful so and it's not that far away i really need to get myself back there as soon as possible it is it kind of puts you in a good place it it's a peaceful place i love it there so i'm babbling let's get this open and see if it does whisk me away to the highlands of scotland let's see again gorgeous gorgeous blue glitter on this okay okay it's not it's not making me think of like um heather and grass and moors and it's not really making me think of the highlands as such it kind of smells more i kind of get like a fresh linen kind of scent from it it smell it still smells amazing it just doesn't transport me to the highlands i, I guess i'll have to just make my own candle um for that one but um yeah i kind of get the scent of um what am i smelling i want to say like ber bergamot is it i have a few um a few oils and things which are bergamot and it's making me think of those and maybe some sandalwood i don't know if i'm just making things up now let me have a look at the wishes website and see if they can give us any clues as to what um what the actual scent of this candle is okay so i'm just reading the um the text and i haven't mentioned the the color of this candle yet um which is described in this and so let me just read it to you it says with its inspiration channel the medieval folk tale will of the wisp through this ghostly candle due to its intricate color design it often resembles the enticing orbs while lit i'm gonna sneeze i think i've got glitter on my nose no it's gone it's gone okay so because they've mentioned it let me show you the colors first of all in this candle so you can see it's kind of white at the bottom it's got a deep blue through the middle and then as we get closer to the top it goes from white to blue so pretty intrigued to see what this is going to look like lit um it does sound like it's going to look pretty amazing and so the scents that it describes it says that the scents are sandalwood so we've got the sandalwood um patchouli which i have no idea what that is lilac geranium and musk so yeah um i don't really know what a lot of those things smell like other than the lilac i, I didn't really get much of a floral smell let's take another sniff and see i guess yeah i guess it is a bit florally i kind of um i guess all my washing powder must be floral um lilac scented because it kind of smells a bit like my washing powder um which is, you know, the reason I chose that is because it smells nice and I like it. So I'm pretty, pretty happy. It does definitely like a, a clean, a clean smell. I'm really, really pleased with this candle. transport me to the highlands as i was hoping but i guess that just means i have to make my own and finally get around to um making that candle i'll probably do like a video maybe if i can figure it out without making too much of a mess and a disaster i don't want to end up getting wax all over my camera which i can see happening but maybe i'll do that sometime in the future and so my last candle and my last item for this haul i've had a blast with this haul don't want it to end though you start ordering some more small shop items but this is the hooded outlaw candle i love 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 robin hood it's one of my all-time favorite disney movies he's one of my all-time favorite disney characters characters so yeah when I saw that they had a Robin Hood themed candle I had to buy this I was kind of weighing up between this one and the the have a burn necessities one which I also was really intrigued by but I think the burn necessities one was more fruity I think it had like pineapple and maybe coconut and those kind of scents and I'm not so much of a fruity um a fruity candle person I, I kind of prefer the herbier or the um 
the muskier kind of smell, the kind of scents, the, um, I don't know how to describe it. The woody kind of scents maybe? That, those kind of scents anyway, I prefer over the fruity kind of scents, the, the sweeter scents. So um, apart from that, birthday candle that's an exception so yes um that's why i went with the hooded outlaw one the colors on this are gorgeous it's a stunning stunning green color i love the color of this and let's see what color the glitter is inside so the glitter is the same kind of color a really deep green that you can see on that one there and let's have a sniff oh oh hmm i think i've got glitter on my lip to eat my candles so this hmm I can't place this I am so so bad at scents I watched my friend um, Taryn do a video with um, Rowan from the Disney Damsels um, where they were sniffing these candles and trying to guess them. How you ladies did that, I have no idea because this is so difficult to place these scents. I'm kind of getting like, oh, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. I am useless. Let's head on over to their website and um, see what they say about this one. Ah, okay. So. It says, the smell of ultimate adventure. Being an outlaw certainly requires a lot of swift navigation. This candle truly bottles up that thrill of exploration and rebellion. And it says the scents are eucalyptus, bergamot, pine, sandalwood, and amber. All scents that I, um, that I love. So let's have another sniff. It smells a little bit citrusy to me, but there aren't any citrus scents in this apparently. I wonder if it's the, like the cedar wood that I'm smelling or the eucalyptus. Sorry, that's my phone. It thinks I'm talking to it. Just ignore that if you heard that. Okay. Very different scents. All three are very, very different. We've obviously got the very sweet one from the, ca the birthday candle, very clean smelling one from my Will's, Will of, Will of Wisp, Will's Wisp, something like that. And this one kind of makes me think like sunshine and summertime or springtime. So a great candle to receive just as the sun is starting to peek through those clouds. Looks like winter is behind us. So great, great candle to receive. I think I might burn this one first. I might burn this today, actually. I'm gonna save my um, my other two for another time. I'm really intrigued to see what that Will-O-Wisps one looks like when it's lit though with them saying it looks like the, the glowing ghostly orbs. Sounds amazing. I'm gonna see how long these guys last me before I go purchasing any more shipping and customs and all of that. It does make all of this a little bit more difficult purchasing stuff from the US, but Wishes Candle is one of those things where I just had to do that. Um, and I also love that each of these um, candles has a hidden pin inside as well. So behind this little sticker here is a, a piece of tin foil wrapped up and stuck to the side of the glass with a hidden pin inside. So they do tend to be scrapper pins. Um, I don't think anybody has actually got a genuine tradable pin inside one of these, but it's a pretty fun item to get. So I hope you enjoyed my magical small shop haul. I love absolutely everything. Everything is so different. Everything is so unique. I am thrilled by it all and I am in awe of these people who can put these things together. I love these. I don't think my candle's gonna turn out anything like these Wishes candles, but I will, I'll let you know how that goes. I also love my ears. I think that these look amazing. I love my little pouch, my t-shirt. I can't wait to start wearing those in my videos. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with absolutely everything I've received. Let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite item. And if you have a favorite Disney small shop that I, that I don't know about, I would love to hear about them. 
so I can check them out and try some of their goodies. I am loving small shops at the minute. I can't get enough of them. So yeah, please give me a shout out if you know of any that um, you think I should try. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and please think about hitting that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed for a little bit of midweek magic every single Wednesday. Thanks again so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Bye!